Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to Pajama Preschool Story Time with Mrs. Mongorero. Today's book is called Two Good Friends. Story by Judy Delton. Pictures by Julio Maestro. Let's get started. Two Good Friends. Duck had cleaned his house. All his floors were waxed. All his furniture was polished. He was admiring his clean rooms when he heard a knock at the door. It was Bear. Come in, said Duck, but first wipe your feet on the mat. Bear wiped his feet on the mat and went inside. Make yourself at home, said Duck. Thank you, I will, said Bear, and he sat down in a shiny rocking chair. Then he put his feet on Duck's table. Duck reached for a newspaper and put it under Bear's feet. What do you have to eat? asked Bear. Nothing, said Duck. Nothing? asked Bear. Today I clean my house, explained Duck. I did not bake. Well, I have something, said Bear, and he reached into his pocket and took out two brownies. Bear, said Duck, you are spilling crumbs on my floor. And he reached for another newspaper and put it under Bear's chair. Bear looked at the newspaper. Then he looked at the two brownies. Duck, he said, you are a very good housekeeper. But what good is a clean house if you have nothing to eat? Here, have a brownie. Bear and Duck each ate a brownie and spent the rest of the afternoon putting a puzzle together. The next day, Duck went to visit Bear. Duck, said Bear, how nice to see you. Come right in. Mmm, said Duck, what smells so good? I've been baking, said Bear, and he pointed to two honey cakes and two nut pies sitting on the table. Brush the flour off a chair and sit down. Bear, said Duck, I can't sit down. My feet are stuck. Oh dear, said Bear, that's the honey. Would you like a honey cake or a nut pie? He asked. Nut pie, said Duck, who had finally managed to unstuck his feet. I've had enough honey for one day. Okay, said Bear, and he cut one piece of nut pie for Duck and one for himself. May I have a plate? asked Duck. The plates are dirty, said Bear. Well, then may I have a fork? asked Duck. The forks are dirty too, said Bear. He looked ashamed. Bear, said Duck, how do you expect me to eat? I'm sorry, said Bear, but today I baked. I didn't clean the house or wash the dishes. Maybe you can use your wings. The pie will still taste good. Duck and Bear eat each ate a piece of pie. When Duck finished, he licked the tips of his wings. I must say, Bear, you are a terrible housekeeper, but your nut pie is the best I've ever tasted. Bear smiled. Have another piece, he said. Gladly, said Duck, and they each ate another piece. The next day, Bear went to Duck's house with surprise. Duck was not at home. But Bear went inside anyway. He put six raspberry muffins on the table and wrote a note. From Bear, it said. Then he went home. 
when Bear walked into his house, he was surprised. I must be in the wrong house, he thought. His feet did not stick to the floor. The dishes were washed and on the shelf. He did not see his name where he had written it on the, in the flower on the table. Instead, he saw a note from Duck. I must thank Duck, thought Bear. But just then there was a knock on the door. It was Duck. Thank you for the muffins, said Duck. I was so surprised and it's not even my birthday. And I have never seen my house so clean, said Bear. I was surprised too. We really are good friends, said Duck. Yes, cried Bear. Let's celebrate. Come in and have some cookies. But first, added Bear, wipe your feet on the mat. Of course, said Duck. And he did. The end. Wasn't that a great story, boys and girls? Two good friends. See, Duck thought Bear needed a good house cleaning because he was so busy baking, he wasn't able to keep his house tidy. So Duck went over and did it for him. And Bear thought, my friend Duck needs something yummy to eat. Yeah, and they shared. I love this book. Two good friends. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time, bye-bye.